Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be going over how to be an engineer in Empire Clash. I know I've done a video in the past on how to be an engineer, but there's been some changes to the engineer role, including the gate mallet, the building, and a lot of other stuff. So I'll be showing you how to do everything from scratch again. As an engineer, you're part of the military. Your goal is to break down gates or defend gates and fix them or build structures. Break down a gate, you'll need to use your battle axe. Use your battle axe and left click on enemy gates to break them. And same thing with the gate mallet to fix them. Both of it requires stamina as you can see here. So now let's talk about the new addition that is building. Building is quite a good addition since it can add a lot of flavor to the game rather than having to hide behind natural cover. Now there's actual structures you can put up to defend yourself so when you click the building menu you'll have multiple things these things show you what is required to build certain stuff for example if you want to build a cannon we need a cannon bore and two cannon parts to get that stuff we need to go to the firearm store and buy the cannon bore go to the firearm store you press e and you buy a cannon bore then after what you need to do is you need to go get um, other stuff from the tool shop. And buy cannon parts. Now that you've done this, you can now assemble an offensive cannon. And you just have a highlighted thing and you have to place it somewhere that's viable. We are going to place it here to defend from an enemy attack if there was one hypothetically. And there. So we contribute the stuff and there, now we have a fully working cannon. To wor make this cannon work, what you need to do is you need to get grape shots or round shots. Grape shots are for humans, round shots are for structures, I believe. And if we're going to get grape shots, is we'll be defending against an attack. Alright, we got grape shots. So now we, get to cl we have to clean the cannon, the grape shot pack it in and now we can just fire the cannon you see this little white thing that's where it shows you where it's going to shoot at so we're going to fire at the bridge imagine there's someone at the bridge i'm going to fire it and there that's how you fire cannon to make cannons one last thing before you go i want to show you guys how to do certain stuff so you might see i'm flying that's because i'm using admin commands in my parrot server but anyways, let's go and show you how to build ladders. So there used, the old system used to be you place the ladder here and you'd climb it and you get up. But now you can no longer do that because they've removed ladders. So instead of what you need to do is you need to gather wood. We don't have enough wood, but what you do is you get enough wood for a... a siege ladder which is going to cost 40 wood and 5 coal and you're just going to have to place it somewhere and you want to place it somewhere that it can climb and yeah it says you cannot place it in the territory here because um it's unclaimed but yeah you'd place it then you'd climb it and you do it like a normal ladder so yeah that's the update to Empire Clash. There's other stuff like um, boxes, which add our nice cover. Wait, we don't have enough wood. Or like um, spikes, which can slow down attacks. And overall defensive and offensive structures that can be used in both ways. This is an update. The engineer overhaul is pretty good. And yeah, I hope you guys learned more things about how to be an engineer.